In the last two years, ALR screens have become very, very popular, not just in the Indian markets, but overall in the global market as well. Now, ALR screen stands for ambient light rejection, and they are available today to enhance your entire picture viewing experience. It can be in terms of increasing the brightness, increasing the depth or the contrast of the image. But one thing that we all need to understand is that the ALR screens are different for ultra short throw projectors and they are different for long throw projectors. And in this video, I am going to help you understand that what exactly is the difference for a UST ALR screen versus a long throw ALR screen. Now let us first understand that why is this sudden demand of ALR screens and why are these type of white fabric screens fading away? Well, the main reason for this is that just the way these screens are fading away in their existence, the image also on the screen is fading away due to so much of light that we have in our environment. Because today, most of the people who are making home cinema systems are not just making it in a dedicated cinema room, but they are also exploring the theater aspect in their bedrooms, guest rooms and living room wherein having complete darkness is just not possible. And that is why a screen which has come up with a revolutionary technology to cut down on this ambient light is exactly why it is making waves across the Indian and the global markets. Now the first parameter to understand the differentiation between a UST LR and a long throw LR screen is the projector itself. Because projector placement is very very crucial in going for the right selection of the screen. For instance, if you are putting an ultra short throw projector right on the shelf in front of the screen, then in that case, the screen that you will need for the angle from beneath is the UST ALR screen. Similarly, if you are going for a projector wherein you are installing it 10, 15, 20 feet away from the screen and it is going to be suspended from the ceiling, then in that case, the projector screen that you need to go for is a long throw ALR screen. The second parameter is about room lighting. UST LR screens are engineered to reduce much more ambient light than the long throw ALR screens because of their multiple optical layer fabric which is ensuring to cut down on the reflection from above as well as from the sides. This enhances the image clarity as well as increases the contrast or the depth of the image. Whereas coming to an, a long throw projector screen, their fabric does not have that kind of engineering wherein they can reduce the light coming from the top as well as from the sides and you still get much of reflection from the screen apart from gaining a little bit of contrast. So that's where a long throw ALR screen typically works more better in a subdued or a controlled lighting environment which can be a guest room, media room or a bedroom but definitely not necessarily in the living room scenario wherein the UST ALR projector along with the UST ALR screen can work well. The next parameter is about image brightness from the screen. Now image brightness is extremely important because you don't want to look at a dull screen on the wall. And that is why a UST LR screen, because of its reflection gain being below one, always have a little less brighter image compared to a long throw LR projector screen, which has got much more brighter image due to high reflection gain of 1.2 and above. Now how many of you remember the back old days of plasma TV? If you know what I mean, I'm speaking about the viewing angle because in a plasma TV, when you sit right in front of the TV, you used to get a much more brighter and a sharper and a nice image. But the moment you start going towards the side, the image becomes a little dull or it starts becoming blackish. Now that is the same phenomena that occurs in a ultra short throw or a long throw ALR screen as well. And that has got to do with the viewing angle of the screen. So viewing angle is yet another important parameter in differentiating between these two screens and a UST ALR screen has typically got less weaving angles compared to the weaving angle that you get from a long throw LR screen. That is why UST LR screens are used in an environment wherein the weaving angle is restricted to certain setting area, but long throw LR screens can be used in much more better environments wherein the weaving angles can be as huge as 180 degrees as well. Now the next parameter of differentiating between both these type of screen is the versatility and by versatility I mean to say that the environment that these ALR screens can be used in. Now typically ultra short through ALR screens are limited to small and medium size rooms because their screen size cannot go beyond 120 inches diagonal as of now because that's the only size that is available in India and secondly they are used in an environment with ultra short through projectors only 
which means that you cannot use with any and every projector it is limited to a particular type of projector now let us look at the long throw projectors alr screen a long throw projector alr screen opens up the world to lot of possibilities it can be a portable projector it can be a long throw projector which is full hd 4k lamp led laser and that's why a long throw alr screen in terms of versatility has got much more avenues to cover also the distance or the diagonal size limitation is not there unlike a ust lr screen before we move on to the final parameter of differentiation i am sure that by now you all must have realized that designing home theater and specially selecting products is not an easy task you cannot just look out for something and then just take a mark and that is why we started with a tool called home theater design tool for which the link is shared above as well as in the description make sure to use that just the way thousands of home theater buyers across india have used the last parameter of differentiating between both this type of screen is the cost or the price involvement behind the screen now typically in a ust alr screen because of the engineering that goes behind in making those pet crystal and multiple optical layers the cost factor is going to always be higher than a gray or a silver fabric that you get with a long throw alr screen which is quite easily available and does not have much of engineering to be done that's why the cost of ust alr screen is always going to be higher and the cost of a long throw alr screen is always going to be cheaper also another factor out here is that the ust alr screens need to be bought with the ultra short throw projector which is again ranging beyond 2 to 2 and a half lakhs today whereas a long throw alr screen needs a long throw projector partner which can start not more than 30 to 40000 rupees and that's why the call or the decision between a ust alr and the long throw alr has got more to do with the kind of environment that you are putting in with the kind of lighting that you will have in that room and thirdly with the kind of projector that you are looking to buy now that we have cleared the differentiation between a ust alr and a long throw alr screen let me ask each one of you a small question let's say you are looking for a long throw projector screen specifically for your dedicated cinema rooms what type of screen would you buy a long throw alr screen or a normal matte white fabric screen now i have done this exercise and i am going to share the results of that in the upcoming reels as well as youtube shorts so make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as follow us on instagram